Hello everybody, welcome to the channel and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video I'm going to be trying out a few of the products that were very kindly sent to me by Globeland and BB Crafts. Now if you missed the video the other day I will link it in the description box but Globeland reached out to me and asked if I would like to pick a few products off their website to try out and promote. Since they contacted me, they've actually merged with their sister site BB Crafts, hence the heading on this video is BB Crafts. I will put a link in the description box for the website and also the products that I am trying out. So if you're interested, you can go over and have a little look. In today's video, I'm going to be using the acrylic block set and the journaling stamp set. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the video. This is the nine piece acrylic block set that they sent me. What really appealed to me with this set was the range in sizes and shapes that you get. I really like these ones with the wavy edge. I think they're going to be super easy to use. So, what I'm going to do first of all is actually peel off the layer of protected film on the back of the sets. As you can see, it's now nice and clear. So I'll do the rest of them and then I'll come back to you. I've taken the protective films off now. Most of them were a matte finish, so you could see they were obviously there. But a couple of them had these clear protective films. So you could still see through the box, but if you looked closely, you would see that around the edge, there was definitely something there. And after picking a little bit, they came up quite easily. So just bear that in mind if you order them and get these. Just because they look clear doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have the film on. The first thing I'm going to do with these is some stamping. Now, I don't know about you, but I am terrible at stamping sentiments onto cards. Like, I make the card and then I just move on to the next one without finishing them off. So I have a whole bunch of Christmas cards that are finished, but they have no sentiment inside. So to save myself a headache at Christmas, I'm going to try and stamp a load of them now. So I have my Christmas sentiments here. And what I'm going to do is just choose maybe three and put them on the blocks. And then I can just alternate so they don't all have the same sentiment. So we'll go warmest thoughts and festive wishes are sent you away for a wonderful Christmas day because that's quite nice isn't it put that one on there and have this one here and we'll have this one here I think And let's have that one for good measure and we'll put it on the little circle. I think it will just about fit. I have some ink. Normally when I'm stamping sentiments I use my stamp platform. However, because I have so many to do, I figured this would be the quicker way. So, let's have a go and see how these go. And I figured this would be quicker because I don't have to stop and take out the stamp, change it over, put the card in. I just figured this way would probably be the best way and a lot quicker. Perfect. 
now we go with this one. And if for any reason I don't get a perfect imprint, it's not a problem because I can just always stamp onto plain white card and put it over the top or I can put an insert in I'm really not going to worry if I mess it up perfect I do normally clean my stamps off between use but for the purpose of this video I'm literally just going for it So these are actually really nice to use. They feel nice in your hand. You've got a good surface area to push down on. They don't wiggle around. As you can see, I'm getting really good prints every time. Let's try the circle. I I do prefer the ones with the wavy grip. I just feel like it gives you a few more options because you can hold it better in various directions. Like these ones, you can either hold here or here. These ones, because you've got the wavy grip, you could hold at angles. There's all kinds of options, so I really like that. Okay, let's fast forward the video while I stamp the rest of these and then I will come back to you. I finished stamping the sentiments in the cards now. I really, really like these blocks. They're really nice to use. They feel really nice in your hand. I got a perfect impression every single time. They've got a really good surface area on them if you want to apply extra pressure. Um, and the stamps stuck nicely to the blocks. Now, what I didn't tell you before I started were these were actually secondhand stamps that I bought off a friend. Um, I don't know how many times she'd use them, if she'd use them. Certainly, I used them last Christmas. Um, and what I have found with previous acrylic blocks is that after a while, stamps just don't stick to them. But these ones... They've been absolutely fine. So I'm really, really happy and I really like the grid system on them as well. So that's good for making sure everything is straight. So really happy with how they have stamped sentiments. Let's try something a little bit different next. The next thing I'm going to try is making my own patterned ribbon. So I have here just some cream ribbon from the craft store. I've got the acrylic block that is round with the wavy edge and as you can see I've already attached a stamp to it which is holly so I'm going to use this ink which I believe is a hybrid ink and we're going to have a go at stamping on ribbon I think this is a great use for these little blocks because you can really see where you're laying it down. You've got a really nice surface area and it would probably be quite tricky to do this in a stamp platform. That doesn't look too bad. Let's keep going.
So I'm fairly happy with how that's gone. Obviously I didn't get the best imprint here, but as a whole, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think the distances are more or less the same and you can definitely see nice and easily where you're placing this when you're going to the next space. Um, I think for something like this, definitely an acrylic block is the way to go rather than a platform and you do get a nice impression. That was my fault, I'll be honest. I don't think I put enough pressure on that particular leaf. Um, but yeah, I'm really quite happy with how that's come out. Give it a go. Because you can see like where you're putting it. Try and hold it still. Yes, there you go. You would not know that had been an issue a minute ago and you would not know that hadn't been done with a platform. That's how easy it is to fix a mistake when you've got these blocks. Very happy with that. So that is a little bit of ribbon stamping. The next thing I want to do is play with this stamp set here with the acrylic blocks. So when I saw this stamp set, the first thing I actually thought was Happy Mail because it has this envelope with the kittens coming out of it and it has loads of crafty bits on and do you know when I send Happy Mail it's generally to crafters. So I just thought this would be perfect for decorating envelopes. I'm all about decorating the envelopes. I think it's so much nicer to have a decorated envelope fall through your door than just a plain boring envelope. But that's just me. So here is an envelope. It's quite a large one. I haven't got anything to go in it yet, but that's not the point. I thought we could get some ready. So when I do send Happy Mail, the envelope's already done. I want to use this stamp here because I think it's super cute. And I think we use the page flag as well. And let's use, they're quite cute. And because I have so many blocks, I, I can literally use as many as these as I want without having to switch anything out. We use that one. These washi strips are so cute. Wonder if they will go on a block together. That would be good if they did. Yes. And, oh, we've definitely got to use the hearts. Let's put those on here. Okay, that is all of my stamps on a block. Let's get stamping. That's so cute. It's a shame I've just got ink on the thing, but I'm sure we can cover that over when it comes to it. So really, really happy with that. I think that's really, really cute. Really nice little stamp set. The next thing I want to do with this stamp set is actually create some ephemera. So what I have done is I have grabbed my scrap folders. So I have two different cardstock folders and I have some mirror board holographic type scraps. And I thought I would have a go at creating ephemera using the same bits I've just used on the Happy Mail envelope. The first stamp I'm going to try is the cat and the dog peering over the postage stamp and I really want to try on this holographic piece of silver mirror. So I'm going to use stays on ink to do this because that is the best for stamping on this kind of surface but it also means 
that as soon as I'm done I'm going to have to clean the stamp off so it doesn't stain and I'm being really careful not to get it on my block because I do not want to stain my brand new blocks so let's have a look and see how this goes just going to hold it down for a little bit to make sure that it soaks in these would be great not only for journaling but you could definitely use this kind of thing for scrapbooks for putting on various different card making projects and obviously for sending out in happy mail because you can fussy cut these pop them in a little envelope that you could equally make yourself and send them out okay That has come out so nicely. Let me just clean the stamp off and I'll show you because I do not want to stain my brand new stamps. Okay. Can you see? It's very reflective, but that's super cute. I'm just going to leave that to dry before I cut it out because otherwise I will smudge it. It stays on, does take a little while to dry. Um, but I'm just going to leave this to dry while I do some of the other ones. So how quick was that? I mean, I've still got to fussy cut them, but in less than a minute, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine possibly 10 if I do something about the rest of that heart bits of ephemera I mean it really isn't a big job um, and I've got some nice things I can use in my journals and things or happy mail and I've just used a whole piece of scrap card so that's a win-win situation So I have now also fussy cut all the ephemera that I've just stamped and I think it's come out super cute. Didn't take long at all. I really, really like this holographic one. I think that looks so effective. I'll definitely be doing more of those. But how cute are they? The last thing I'm going to do is create a card. So I have already cut down some watercolour cardstock. Um, and I'm going to be using this stamp set here because I have been a really bad niece. So it's my aunt's birthday, Saturday. Uh, it is now Thursday and I still have not posted the card I had made her. So because it won't get there in time, I'm going to make her a whole new card saying oh pants sorry i forgot and because this has pants on it i thought this would be quite a fun card so i'm just pulling off the stamps that i want to use and i'm going to use the stamp blocks so i have the wavy edge square and the large wavy edge square so I'm just going to put these on here. I'm going to use VersaFine ink because I also want to do some heat embossing. And by using this ink, I won't need to grab a separate ink. And I'm just going to be making my own background up here using the two different stamp sets. So I've heat embossed the image, that's all ready to go. I've grabbed in 
my distress inks let's get rid of the heat tool and i'm going to bring in an acrylic block because what i can actually do is use my acrylic block as like a palette for my inks So there is the finished background. I think it's come out really, really nicely. And as you saw, it was really, really easy to use the acrylic blocks as a base for my watercolours. So I need to stamp a sentiment now. And I'm going to be using the acrylic blocks again because they've got this nice grid system on them. It should really help me to line up the stamp to make sure it is straight. So I'm also going to use my mat to help me. So I'm just going to position the stamp on a straight line. Then I'm going to grab my block and try and line it up to make sure it is straight. And now I can just add ink and away we go. And there we go. So I am going to cut this out, get the card all put together. So that's the finished card. Um, love those stamp blocks. You will definitely see them featuring in a lot of videos in the future. I am so impressed with them. They are so versatile. They are so nice to use. Um, I would highly recommend them. I love that little cat stamp set. Again, many different uses for it. I've just done a couple today, but I think it's super, super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love your opinions on what I have done today. Thank you so much to Globeland and BB Cross for the opportunity of working with you and choosing these products. I think they're absolutely fantastic. And thank you very much for watching today. I hope you are all safe and well. I will be back soon with another video like this showing you the other products that I chose. So until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.